We may not always be too impressed by modern trains, but we've never stopped loving our old times. In fact, we seem to like our trains best when the only place they really take us is back in time. In the past, the railway lines and the rolling stock came in all shapes and sizes, and the locos survive in varying condition. But young or old, big or small, waiting in hopes, or fully restored like this one, they all did a mighty job. Okay, now watch my style. Just drill a bit in there. Yeah. Perhaps the most amazing thing of all is that so many old locos like these are still in service. Steam trains strike a special chord in most of us, particularly those people whose almost obsessive dedication keeps these giants running. We're going to ride on Australia's favourite trains. The Zigzag in New South Wales. Victoria's Puffing Billy. The Coffee Pot in South Australia's Flinders Ranges. We'll see the restoration of one of our oldest private railways, the legacy of one of Australia's richest men. We'll catch the old gam to Alice Springs. And that's not all. We'll ride on all kinds of trains. With just one thing in common. They have both a past and a future. There's no mystery about why these old trains survive. They appeal to young and old. To those who work them as much as to those who ride. Today, three classic steamers will run side by side from Sydney to the outer suburbs.